Hi, my name is Mohamed Saif Farouk, I'm a second year medical student at Sunland University. Before I begin, please can I get your full name and date of birth. Hi, so I've been asked for the GP to perform an upper limb neurological exam. This involved me having a general observation, performing some movements, checking your reflexes and also your sensation. There'll be no pain expected, but if at any point you feel any pain or have any questions, please just let me know. Is that okay? And am I okay to begin the procedure? Brilliant. So firstly, are you in any pain at the moment? No? That's fine. So at this point, I'd ask the patient to take their top off. So are you okay just to close your eyes for me and have your hands up? Because it's more of a pronated drift. Then I'll check for your tone. So what I'll do is hold the hand and sort of just move it. So I'm just moving the hand, so just moving the limb. And then so I'm moving the limb on the other side and then sort of twisting my hand with theirs, checking for any sort of clawness as well. Now I'm going to check for the power. So firstly, can you have your hands up like that? I'm going to push them down, you just resist that, so they resist that, and then I'd have to push them up, they resist that. Then, so if you can bring your hands towards your face, and then sort of resist that, and then if you can push your hands, palms out, and then I'd resist that. That's fine. Now, if you can have your hands up like that, don't let me push down on your fingers, it's fine. Then with your thumbs, don't let me push down on your thumbs. Then with your little finger, with your index finger, don't let me push it in. Opposite side, don't let me push it in. Then with your little finger, don't let me push it in. Again, on the other side, don't let me push it in. That's great, thank you. Now I'm going to test for your reflexes. So firstly, we'll start off with the biceps reflex. Um, then normally I'd have my fingers here, but I don't have that, so. Okay, that's fine. And then again, you put your fingers there. Then on the triceps, having it relaxed. So I'll tap there, then the other side. It's a bit harder because I'm doing it on myself. Now I'm going to test for sensation, so using this cotton wood, just give me a little bit of a look on it. And if you close your eyes, I'm just going to tap it on your neck, see what to feel. And then again, they'd have no shirt on. So I'd do it on each side, checking it's the same on both sides. So I'd go from here, 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 then the other side. Normally I'd go between each hand and check if it's the same on both sides. So for example, the thumb on one, the thumb on the other. So now we're going to move on to coordination. So I'm going to have my finger, if you can tap your finger from your nose to my finger, so. That's fine. Then if you can have your hands up like that, if you can clap your hand over the other, and then on the other side as fast as you can. Also I can check for proprioception, so if you can close your eyes. Um, I'm going to move your thumb up and down, so this way is up, this way is down. You need to tell me which way I move it, so. Up, down, down, on the other hand, down, down, up, up, it's fine. Now I'm going to check back vibration sensation. You can close your eyes, tell me when you can feel it and when it stops. I can feel it. It stopped. I can feel it. It stopped. And if they couldn't feel it, you can work to a more proximal, um, more, to a more proximal joint. And also I can test sensation within the other tip. So that completes the examination. Thank you very much for your time. Further investigations can include a comprehensive cranial nerve exam.